All right, uh, this is the commentary for episode four, Vampire Zombie Werewolf. I'm Rob Paget. I directed and wrote this episode, and there's me right there looking. And I'm Steve Lekowitz. I'm a producer, writer, actor, and other things. I'm Tanya Einan. I play Bunny, and I'm also a producer. I'm Zoe Van Brunt. I'm the director of photography. And she also did that vomit. The vampires will love That vomit is gross. <laughs> it grosses me out every time. The Rob really vomited on set. <laughs> okay, I had to wait for him to eat a couple, couple cans of Vienna sausage between each take so that there would be enough volume for it to splatter. That was, uh, uh, that actually, that vomit cue actually, uh, it, it marked a new point in my post-production work where I actually purchased mm. I purchased the sound cue off off online there for that. Yeah, I paid for it. <laughs> 99 cents. Sometimes paying for that stuff is really, really worth it. Yeah. Um, no one's mentioned yet that uh, this whole first part of this episode is... Looped! It's ADR. Yay! Our, uh, our boom that day was... Anything, practically already... irrelevant so uh we had to sort of replace yeah. everything yeah unfortunately when you're shooting as fast as we had to you there's can't the bread always... in the background with the holes punched out. Holy bread. um when you're shooting as fast as we do you don't necessarily have the opportunity to well uh, get, show get all the microphone placements no right no well because we were shooting like I don't know. I think we could More, we were shooting 20 pages well. a day. Yeah, we should. Which is ridiculous. Which, I mean, it, I, Zoe was against from the beginning. Uh, well, originally we were going to shoot all the stuff in the house in the, over three days. It yeah. was supposed to be three, yeah. And uh, from the beginning, I was like, this isn't going to happen. We had 90 <laughs> pages of script there. over three days. I mean, um, generally script comes out to one page a minute. Um, and so but that's, that's we have 20. money. But that's, see, here's what well, you regard, I mean, regardless, <laughs> I'm saying like 20 minutes of screen time a day, you know, and then on top of that, you're shooting multiple takes and well then, and this is this mm. is what people who listen to this commentary may not know about zoe she's terminally uh, professional <laughs> <laughs> which in is fact, why we uh, love her so I, much so that it just held us back <laughs> yeah I have, I have i have the uh Hello, yay deficiency of cans of brain <laughs> Working in the industry for a living. Well, <laughs> see, and that's that, maybe that's why nobody pays us. Um. Well, I want to tell because I, I forgot to tell this in the other commentaries. When you see me in this brown dress, you have to know that I'm literally taped into my shoes because they kept falling off. Yeah. Okay. So how did that work? Were you like double sided tape? I I, I grabbed some tape that I thought would come off and it wouldn't. It was very very sticky. <laughs> and so, so what does that look like to you? Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> So Tanya was Something taking about chicken. So I literally would have to take my nylons off and, and my shoes and leave them, them taped together. <laughs> and so, so this is actual. This is not eighty yard. Uh, and I want to say something in defense of Jeff Daly, our boom operator. That was the first time we shot in the kitchen. And since we were going so fast, he didn't have a lot of time to work out a strategy. And it was very echoey. Yeah. Well, and the later, the later kitchen scenes aren't aren't looped. I love that dolly move. I'm very so proud of that sure. one. Well, why not? It's awesome. Loves um, um, pretty. Now, basically, we had we had track I mean, on the blood, um, so on the side of the room, and we would dolly back and forth and do kind of a dolly pan there. But um, like you can see really well in this shot of Tanya over here, which is like my favorite shot of myself in this show. That I'm not a huge fan. I mean, I guess when we're doing nighttime exteriors, um, it's different. But I'm not a huge fan in the daytime of having uh, actual backlights on people. So I try to create contrast with putting light on the background instead. And it kind of it looks more natural, and I think it's a more painterly effect. Well, and they're white walls, so. Yeah, and that makes white walls a little more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I love 70s Corey. Woo! 70s Corey with her big ass shoes. Those shoes are You can awesome. see her at the end of this walk. She looks at who we're, she's squeezing through a tiny little place between the camera and the wall. I had you to, can see her kind of shimmy. I had to grab her so she wouldn't fall because the she's shoes walking were so the, high. She's walking through weeds, too. <laughs> that shirt I'm wearing is one of three that I, I had to buy three shirts one for normal. One for worn down, and then one for really worn down for the three stages of Tad. We've been wearing the same shirt for 30 years. For 30 years. For some reason, because I was a zombie werewolf, I couldn't buy clothes. Uh, sorry, I have to say that uh, this is the uh, alleyway in front of uh, my best friend and our camera operator, Yvonne Chu's apartment. That's right. Ironically, Yvonne did not run camera. Yeah, on this day. For this day. Uh, she wasn't home, I don't think. She wasn't no, even around. Um, her husband 
George. Actually, they weren't it married doesn't. at the time. This was a month before they got married. They were fiancés. Yes, finances. Um, they were very kind, vampire. and there was some so kind of us shoot there. There was some kind of weird to out a way to foreign party happening, <laughs> right to the left of this shot, oh, where the people were going in and out and speaking. I, I don't know if they were Persian or something, but there was something <laughs> happening over there. That silly shot where I was slinking around is one of the sort of rare shots in this show where we do that kind of ridiculous nonsense and slapstick stupidness. Actually, this whole sequence. I was going to say, I don't know if that's Well, the popping rare. out. <laughs> it, it is. I Can I rare. point out that one of my favorite things about this show is Corey running away, literally biting her nails. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention that you can tell that those two alleyways are in completely different places because one is purple. <laughs> and one is green. And if also, green. if you look carefully there, that's the only time you see my bag shoes. That's true. I spent a lot of time creating burlap wraps for my feet because, of course, I couldn't buy shoes either. And I what, love Sleepy Jeremy, too. Jeremy does Sleepy well, Annoyed I'm, Angry very well. <laughs> and if you're a fan of the show and know, Balthazain has his own website, and he has a theme that was just playing there in its Sleepy version. Actually, when you first see him back in the first alley scene, you get the little his bit of intro <laughs> you get the, is his little Balthazain theme. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, vampire porno friendly uh, soft vignette here. And that was all just, we had to drape <laughs> these scarvy, skirty, nice. handkerchiefy yeah, things really behind nice. there because we just didn't. We didn't have, have a, a boudoir. So that's <laughs> literally <laughs> a bunch of handkerchiefs that hanging was, from a seat. That was in stand. Laura's house. That was back in Laura's house. Yeah. On a futon. <laughs> On a futon covered in a fur thing. And covered in <laughs> lambskin or something. Yeah. And, and Laura was the agent was from. Like, uh, yeah. From life from the inside. Yeah, well, and then Kathy here was the Kathy. first agent. People That's have true. called this a sort of mini life from the inside reunion because there's Corey and Kathy. And, and Laura will come up later. Yeah, Laura will be there. And uh, I first worked with you guys on the last episode, of, well, the mm -hmm. most recent episode <laughs> of Life from the Inside. <laughs> you don't want to call it the last episode either. Yeah, people get <laughs> angry. <laughs> Oh, so uh, you're going to see here pretty hour. soon. Uh, we, uh, hard, when we originally shot werewolf. the scene, I mean, um, we shot days, it at nighttime mess. with I mean, um, lighting to uh, make it look like pretty. daytime. And then when we went back and did some reshoots for some of this close-up stuff here, uh, we actually Vampires shot it in the daytime. And I'm very proud of the fact that it looks It matches. That's right, yeah. This is this is actual daytime. Yeah, I used primarily natural light in the reshoots, whereas it was all... Artificial in the uh, in well, the uh, Bunny and I are pretty much indestructible. Uh, principal photography. Well, we didn't have a lot of opportunity to shoot daytime in the house. The now Rob's going to talk about uh, this. Well, <laughs> Look at the inflating the, the stakes joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, I built that little bellows pump. It took me two days. There's just no way to find a little bellows pump anywhere. There, no bellows pumps are collectible now, and nobody uses real ones, so. Vampires. Unless you want to spend too much money for an ornate bellows pump. People have also made a lot of big deal about all these DVDs. Oh, yeah. And uh, we, this this is still being shot in my friend Sven's house. And uh, he has thousands of DVDs He's because got he, he worked at Fox. And you're only seeing the first layer. There's he, another there's, layer yeah. behind this layer. And this is after he had purged maybe a third of what he had. So, yeah, it, it is crazy. We understand that. And... Uh, it's yeah. awesome. He only kept the good ones, like the Wonder Woman DVDs <laughs> that are right behind you. Yeah. I actually put on a, uh, a an exposure it. vignette around the edges in order to actually take the focus off of <laughs> off the, the DVDs, DVDs a little bit more. Yeah, people going, so, what DVDs is he what have? The, yeah, yeah why, why does it's, Tad it's like the Sopranos? It's Like, we've house set for Sven, and, yes, and you're Sopranos. like, let's watch a movie tonight. Oh, God, I don't know what to watch. And Yvonne Chu, Dave Thomas, Woo! amazing. Woo! Seth Daly, yeah, Steve Doyle. Paul Joe. Boom. Okay, Only that was. Uh, oh, Paul Joe. Did I miss Paul Joe? You I missed apologize. Paul Joe. Uh, Way to go, Zoe. Episode uh, four. Worst DP ever. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, That was. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Oops. Thanks for listening to our. Uh... Now, hopefully, this wasn't too rambly. Yeah, see you next time. Yeah.